Hello everyone and welcome to my July the 3rd Capricorn full moon reading. Time for a mid-year review. Have a look at what's been working well for you and do more of it. If anything that you've been doing doesn't feel good, do less of it. This is a perfect time to revamp your strategy and set different goals or milestones if you need to tweak anything and make sure you celebrate all your accomplishments that you've been making so far this year. No one gets a gold star for being a martyr. Don't deny yourself the celebration that you know you deserve. Acknowledge your progress and thank people who have been part of your success. And we're going to jump in with the first card. It's Unawakened. So this is about certain unawakened parts within consciousness. And don't worry, everybody has some until perfect union or full enlightenment. It's a process of locating those places within and bringing love and healing to those places. Please note that any upset place or unawakened place within you is a shared place with you and your twin flame. So as you bring healing to those places, you're healing it for the both of you at the same time. You and your twin flame are the space within that's being healed by you delivering love there. You can manifest anything you like. Go deeper because the space inside your heart is where your soul always resides with your twin flame and where you can fully express all your desires and all your love and all your joy and receive theirs. This is where you first feel heaven before it manifests in your reality. You're bringing new life to all these places within that are still needing a little bit of light, a little bit of illumination. But you're doing a fantastic job. Full moons are about things being illuminated. And use this light of the silvery moon to choose to align yourself closer to your twin flame union, your harmonious twin flame union, and claim further your heaven on earth by choosing in your heart to trust your desires, to keep walking forward into your perfect life of love with your one true love. Love is transforming you and your twin flame at the very core of your being. And from unawakened to awakened, coming back to life. And choose your battles. Now be mindful of where you put your energy and where you put your focus. You don't want to be expending energy on unnecessary things. Watch your thoughts as well. Sometimes ego will tell you all sorts of nasty things. And it shouldn't be listened to. If you have a thought come up about love being hard or painful or unavailable, it's safe to set a boundary with that thought and bring love in its place because the power of love works in miraculous ways and is transforming the core of your being. Your greatest dreams are waiting for you at this core and so is your twin flame. The journey of self-discovery peels back every layer around your heart that's preventing love from entering your life. The unawakened places, which are being dealt with now. This process leaves behind only what's in alignment with your highest good and your divine self and your union. Love will lift the weight of your heaviest burdens and bring you to a place of lasting peace quality and you're coming into greater balance your union is coming into greater balance your twin flame is coming into greater balance as they mirror your healing you choosing to invest your energy into love that's going to be the thing that reaps the rewards you've so long been seeking and a good way to create greater balance and also the most attractive thing you can do for your twin flame for a stop is to enjoy your life in all the ways that bring you joy you are your union. Your union is always with you. Go and do all the things that you love with the energy of your twin flame being present with you. Recognise that they're there with you energetically. You can feel them. That's how they manifest. Not by worrying about the next thing that's going to come up. You manifest by knowing that love is handled. Love is safe. Love cannot be taken. Love can't go to anyone else. It's yours. No one else can have your good. It's already been given. Getting out of your own way means just being present with love. Even if your twin flame arrives today, 
Live life now as you would live it. There's a place for your twin flame where they will fit in. No, your life won't change when your twin flame comes in. It will be the same life. You're both healing the same upsets. Make sure you're creating a life that aligns to you and represents you. Make sure you're not compromising anywhere. Make a list. What in your life doesn't feel good? Let go of where you feel afraid. The reason for this journey is to have more love in your life. And this is what the current energies are bringing you into. And it's fabulous. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.